It's a little boy called Joe. But he's got this big swelling in his face. He must be in a lot of pain and, you know, it's very badly infected. All the way up in there, I can actually stick my finger in it. Oh. So looking at how bad that infection is and the extent of it, that could seed into his blood. And once that happens, he's in really, really bad trouble. He could potentially die from that. Oh God, he's going blue. Is he not taking breaths? Suddenly, the little Joey has stopped breathing. So we've got a hectic day today. Mobile vets Audrey and Allison are heading out of Sydney today to the Possumwood Wildlife Sanctuary. The twins are regular volunteers at the sanctuary, which cares for hundreds of sick and injured animals every year. Hi, Rosemary. How are you? The girls have been called out by owner Rosemary, who has a new arrival that needs urgent care. It's a little boy called Joe. But he's got this big swelling in his face. He must be in a lot of pain and, you know, it's very badly infected. Whoa. So I'm not quite sure what you're going to find underneath that, but it's not going to be nice. So this lump is actually under the eye. Oh, that third eyelid is so inflamed from this abscess. So looking at how bad that infection is and the extent of it, that could seed into his blood. And once that happens, he's in really, really bad trouble. He could potentially die from that. Straight away, Alison checks the inside of the Joey's mouth. Oh, there's a cavity that goes all the way up in there. I can actually stick my finger in it. And there's so much food in it. Oh, hang on. I open that mouth and I have a good look and I can actually see there's this huge cavity going up into that area where the pus is and my finger can actually go all the way up. So we definitely know it's coming from the mouth. It's got a loose tooth. Mm. Yeah, it's a tooth root abscess. So we're looking at two really wobbly infected premolars and because they're so wobbly and infected that pus is accumulated around the roots and into that area under his eye. So I think what's going to happen when I pull this tooth out is all this pus is going to run out. So we're just packing out the back of his throat so it doesn't go down his lungs. Hey. Whoa, man. That looks like part of his jawbone is just kind of fractured, fractured away. away with that tooth. Oh, the infection must Sorry. be in the jawbone. So it's pretty smelly and nasty in there. Just in that cavity behind the infected teeth, we can see grass, oats, decaying food there. Oh, oh. oh, it comes in waves. And what we think may have happened is that the infection is also eating away at that jaw. Okay, there's still a bit of jawbone up here, but I might have to get it out from here. Oh God, he's going blue. Is he not taking breaths? Suddenly, the little Joey has stopped breathing. Can you just give him some pure oxygen? Let's do 10 breaths. Close, one, two, and then open three. His tongue is still blue. Ooh. Whoa, man. That looks like part of his jawbone just kind of fractured, fractured away. away. At the Possumwood Wildlife Sanctuary, twins Audrey and Allison are in the middle of treating a joey with a shocking tooth abscess. Oh god, he's going blue. Is he not taking breaths? All of a sudden, the joey has stopped breathing. Can you just give him some pure oxygen, please? All right, let's do 10 breaths. Oh yeah, he's going pink now. It's a huge relief as Joey the joey starts breathing again. And now, the twins can start cleaning out the massive infection in his jawbone. Oh, the pus is coming out the eye now. We're going to just try and lance the abscess from the outside. I'm just putting my finger through the, the root area where we removed that tooth and I can feel a piece of bone that we need to get out there. So I sort of hold the eyeball away and then you cut in a ventral motion downwards, mm -hmm. so that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Yep. Just move your finger. That's it. Get ready for the smell. Oh, it's strong. Oh. Oh. oh there's so much pus coming out there. Oh. That's Ooh. a lot. I think possibly he fractured his, um, his 
jaw, upper jaw. With the abscess now completely drained, the girls want to x-ray Joe's jawbone to get a clearer picture of the damage that may have caused the shocking infection. Be interesting to see exactly what part and how much he's lost. So that's the top jaw here, that's the soft tissue swelling where the abscess was. That's where we removed the two teeth. You can see there's some bone loss here, so that's where it's all started. So just having a look at that x-ray, we can see the area of the jaw that's actually come away with the tooth. And I think there's probably some sort of traumatic injury hit by a car where that's really fractured that bone and then caused all this secondary infection. So lucky little man to make it today and I'm sure he's feeling a lot better with all that pus and yeah. discharge out of his face. It's been a marathon surgery for little Joe and he'll now be left to sleep off the anaesthetic. Nice and warm. Hi Audrey Allison, here we go, here's Joe. 24 hours later, the twins are anxious to check on Joe and discover whether he'll be one of Possumwood's survivors. Oh, look at that. That third eyelid has retracted all the way back and it's no longer red and angry, so that's a huge improvement. Yes. You can see that pressure's really off the yeah. eyeball now that he yeah. can close that eye. There's no damage there, which is great. I'm just going to have a look in your mouth, babe. Let's have a look. Definitely smells a lot better. Yeah. So we're really happy with Joe's recovery. He's done really well overnight. Hey, can you see us a bit better now? Still a little bit groggy from the sedation, so we'll bring him to bed and once he's recovered, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be bouncing around in no time. Doing very well. <laughs> if you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.